were so many lectures last week and I had a clinic this week that I didn't really start going over the material until two days before the midterm. I feel like if I take a five minute break, I fall a day behind and then it takes two days to catch back up. We all fall behind at times. What is your plan to prevent that from happening? I don't really know. I was hoping you could help me. I'm sending you some resources to help you plan your schedule. Students have found them to be helpful in the past. Thank you. Anything else? Hey, what'd you think about the quiz? I'm already trying to forget about it. Those questions were terrible. You can tell she liked it when half the class got a question wrong, too. Do you think they'll ask questions like that on the final? I don't think so. They told us they make those questions harder to help us learn. That's what they said at the beginning of the block. And then they ask questions on the midterm, like the one where you have to differentiate leiomyosarcoma from Paget's disease. I got that question wrong. Did you get it wrong, too? I almost did. I switched it at the last second. I've got to grab something from my locker. Yeah. I'll catch you on the fourth floor. Bye. See ya. I don't think I'm getting enough sleep at night, and that's why I'm not doing as well as I should be. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you explored strategies to help you sleep? Not really. I don't have enough time. I see. How do you make sure you get enough sleep at night? I try to get to bed at a decent time. But with two children and a busy clinic, well, we could all use some extra sleep. Too late to get coffee. Coffee doesn't even affect me anymore. Really? I can drink a shot of espresso two hours before going to bed and still be fine. That doesn't sound healthy at all. <laughs> Neither does studying all day. <sighs> Do you want me to get you something from downstairs? Um, no thanks. I'm heading home soon. All right.
How are you feeling? Better. I went to bed early last night and I worked out before lecture this morning. I'm happy to hear that. Medical school doesn't have to mean you deprive yourself of basic needs. Make sure you find time to have fun and enjoy your free time while you have it. And that's what some of the fourth years were telling me. You will only have less time in future years. Thank you for seeing me on such short notice, Dr. Moss. I'm always available if you need me. Thank you.